Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Industries are the backbone of our modern economy. From producing the steel that builds our cities to manufacturing the chemicals that fuel agriculture and healthcare, industrial activities power much of what we rely on in everyday life. However, there's a significant downside to this industrial progress, the environmental impact. Industries are some of the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, primarily through their heavy reliance on fossil fuels. The numbers speak for themselves. Industrial operations account for about a quarter of global carbon emissions. This includes everything from energy-intensive processes like cement and steel production to the chemical industry, which uses large amounts of fossil fuels for heat and power. The consequence of these emissions? Rising global temperatures, more frequent and severe weather events, and long-term damage to ecosystems and human health. The urgency is clear, industries must decarbonize if we are to meet global climate targets. But how can we decarbonize an industry that is so dependent on fossil fuels? The solution lies in clean energy. By transitioning to renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and adopting innovative technologies, industries can reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to a more sustainable future. In today's video, we will explore the key strategies industries are using to decarbonize and how clean energy plays a pivotal role in this transformation. One of the most promising ways industries can reduce emissions is by switching to renewable energy sources. Industries have long relied on fossil fuels for electricity generation, but today, there are cleaner alternatives. Wind, solar, and hydropower are becoming increasingly cost-effective and accessible, offering industries a way to meet their energy needs without the associated carbon emissions. Some companies are already taking action by signing power purchase agreements with renewable energy providers or generating their own clean electricity on-site. Beyond renewable electricity, there's another exciting development, green hydrogen. Green hydrogen is produced through electrolysis, using renewable electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This clean hydrogen can be used in sectors that are difficult to electrify, such as steel and cement production, where high temperature heat is required. By replacing coal or natural gas with green hydrogen, industries can dramatically cut their carbon emissions. Several companies are already piloting green hydrogen projects, and this technology is expected to play a key role in decarbonizing hard-to-abate industries in the coming decades. Electrification is another major strategy industries are using to reduce their reliance on fossil fuels. Instead of using natural gas, coal, or oil for processes like heating, companies are exploring the use of electric systems powered by renewable energy. Take, for example, electric arc furnaces in the steel industry, which are replacing traditional blast furnaces. These electric systems can be powered by clean electricity, significantly reducing emissions. Similarly, electric boilers are being used to replace fossil fuel-fired boilers in chemical and manufacturing processes. Energy efficiency is also a critical part of the decarbonization puzzle. Many industries are making strides by improving the efficiency of their operations. This can involve upgrading equipment, optimizing processes, and adopting advanced energy management systems that monitor and control energy usage in real time. For instance, companies can use sensors and artificial intelligence to detect inefficiencies in production and optimize energy consumption. Not only does this lower emissions, but it can also result in significant cost savings for businesses. Carbon Capture and Storage, or CCS, is another innovative technology that can help industries decarbonize. CCS involves capturing carbon dioxide emissions from industrial processes and storing them underground or repurposing them for other uses. This technology is particularly relevant for industries like cement and steel, where emissions are difficult to eliminate through renewable energy alone. While CCS is still in its early stages, it has the potential to become a key tool in reducing industrial emissions as the technology continues to improve and become more affordable. The concept of a circular economy is gaining traction as well. In a circular economy, industries focus on reducing waste, recycling materials, and reusing byproducts from production processes. 
This reduces the need for raw materials and cuts emissions associated with extracting and processing those materials. For example, recycling scrap metal in the steel industry requires significantly less energy than producing new steel from raw iron ore. Similarly, reusing industrial byproducts and other processes can help lower the carbon footprint of production. Bioenergy and biomass are also playing a role in the transition to clean energy for industries. Biomass, which includes organic materials like agricultural waste and forestry residues, can be used to generate heat and electricity. However, it's important that biomass is sourced sustainably to ensure that it remains a low-carbon energy option. Some industries are turning to bioenergy as a way to reduce their reliance on fossil fuels, especially in processes that require large amounts of heat. The rise of digitalization and smart technologies is further supporting industrial decarbonization. Digital tools such as the Internet of Things, IoT, artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning allow industries to monitor their energy usage more effectively and make data-driven decisions to optimize performance. For example, predictive maintenance systems can alert operators to equipment issues before they lead to inefficiencies, while smart grid technologies can help manage energy demand in real time, ensuring that industries use renewable energy when it's available. Policy and regulatory support are critical in driving industrial decarbonization. Governments around the world are introducing carbon pricing, offering subsidies for clean energy technologies, and setting emissions reduction targets. These incentives are encouraging industries to adopt greener practices and invest in clean energy solutions. Many companies are also voluntarily committing to reducing their carbon emissions, with some setting ambitious net zero targets. Industry-wide collaborations are also emerging, where companies work together to share knowledge, best practices, and technologies to accelerate the transition to a low-carbon economy. Let's take a closer look at the steel industry as an example. Steel production is one of the most carbon-intensive industrial processes due to the reliance on coal and blast furnaces. However, the industry is making significant efforts to decarbonize. Some companies are experimenting with using green hydrogen in place of coke and blast furnaces, while others are investing in electric arc furnaces powered by renewable energy. These developments represent a shift toward more sustainable steel production, with companies like ArcelorMittal leading the charge by investing in new technologies and setting ambitious decarbonization goals. Decarbonizing industry is not just about reducing emissions, it's about creating a more sustainable and resilient economy. Clean energy offers a pathway to achieving this, with the potential to unlock new economic opportunities, drive innovation, and create jobs in emerging green industries. The transition to a low-carbon future will require collaboration between governments, industries, and innovators. It will also need continued investment in research and development to drive down costs and scale up new technologies. In conclusion, the journey toward decarbonizing industry is challenging, but it's a necessary step in the fight against climate change. Through renewable energy, electrification, energy efficiency, and innovative technologies like green hydrogen and carbon capture, industries can significantly reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to a cleaner, greener future. Together, we can build an industrial system that supports economic growth while protecting our planet for future generations. Let's make decarbonizing industry a priority, and let clean energy lead the way. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.